Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about role play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode if you don't remember we went ahead and fought against Sonic and also got most of the remaining Master Emerald pieces back and in this episode we're going to go ahead and follow E102 Gamma all the way over to Eggman's Flying Fortress the Egg Carrier. Now, if you don't remember, Eggman's no base is over in the forest over here, which is next to the Lost World Ruins. This is actually where they were keeping the egg carrier before we saw it after the fight between Sonic and Knuckles. And I guess Tails was also there. Interesting enough, uh, I forget if I've mentioned this already, but uh, there was actually an unused texture in the game for a fight against Tails. So either there was going to be a fight between Sonic and Tails for some reason, or between someone else and Tails, maybe Gamma or something like that. Or maybe there was a thing where that you could maybe choose between who you wanted to fight between Sonic and Tails when you played as Knuckles and you got to that fight. Whichever one it is, both ideas would be pretty cool. Hmm, just what I thought. Time to make a house call. Awesome, now this is a pretty interesting one. We want to get over to the sky deck, but the way the ship is now... What's going on? Ah, this thing's always changing. As I was saying, saying, was saying, as I was saying before, we want to get over to the sky deck, but we can't because I believe at this point in the story, this is when the egg carrier is about to crash. Let's see if to call Yeah, so I think that either Sonic and Tails are over on the other part of the ship and they just landed here. Or this is when the ship is about to crash, but I think it's when Sonic and Tails have just landed. So we're not on the correct part of the ship, but we want to get to the sky deck. Interesting enough, there's a pool over here, and I right here. The Master Emerald. It can't be far from here. Knuckles can sense the Master Emerald, and so obviously the sky deck is right over here. I don't know why the entrance to the sky deck is in the pool, but I don't know. Eggman's weird. I don't know why I'm not... Okay, there we go. This is actually, I believe, our last stage as Knuckles. That's pretty neat. Now, while I'm searching for emeralds here, interesting thing to note. First of all... Just like she says, you could use this lever to change how the ship tilts, which you will be needing to do, probably. I don't know if there's a certain way that the Master Emerald can spawn that, you know, you don't have to move around the ship at all, but... Anyways, while I'm searching for Emeralds, I'll finish that story that I was talking about in the previous episode, where... 
I grew there's the emerald right there where I grew an affinity for Dig Dug because I remember during a sum the summer vacation where me and my cousins were being babysat uh, my cousin had one of my cousins had you know those plug-and-play things where it's those things that you could just plug into your TV and there's a ton of pre-installed games on there well, my cousin had one of those, but it had a bunch of classic games like Pac-Man and Dig Dug and probably a few other ones. And so one of the games we played was Dig Dug because I forget exactly why that's the one that we wanted to play. I think that was just my cousin's favorite. And so he started playing it and we were... and. I started playing it because I wanted to try to see if I could get the high score. And we just had this sort of back and forth for a while where we were each trying to see who could get the highest score. And it was just probably one of my the funnest summer vacations I've ever had. This place can be a bit of a hassle to get around when you don't have a spin dash. Where is this? Oh, is it? Ah, I see, I'm just dumb. You have to tilt the ship to open up that hatch. But yeah, that summer was one of the greatest summers I ever, I ever had. I remember the same cousin, uh, he and his sister, were uh, had Pokemon Omega Ruby, and I had it as well. And we would battle against each other sometimes. And which direction do I have to push this? Wait. I think I have to push it this way. Nope, wrong direction. I have to push it that way. But yeah, my cousins had Pokemon Omega Ruby. I had Pokemon Omega Ruby, so we battled a lot. And I... My cousin who, my cousin had a, a bunch of legendary Pokemon that he either got from gifts or that he got himself in the normal story. So he would always destroy me because I was only halfway through the game at that point. I want to play a Pokemon game on this channel at some point. I know I tried to once, but that didn't get anywhere. But yeah, I also convinced that cousin to get Pokemon Red as well, and I remember that that was a game that I had a lot more progress and I think I had beaten it or I was at least very close to beating it because I had some pretty high level Pokemon and I beat him in that a lot so it kind of balanced out another one of my fun summer breaks was this one right now the one that well this is being uploaded a couple days in the future so I guess this is in the past the most recent summer vacation from June of 2022 to August of 2022. And this is one where, you know, not a lot happened, but there was one vacation that we went on where I was, my whole family went to the beach, and we just had a ton of fun because it was the first time I've ever gone to a beach. The drives were pretty long from there and back, it was a good most of the day. <laughs> Anyways, now that I'm done with that story, where is this last emerald? It must be in one of these, then, I'm guessing. Yeah. Sorry that my gameplay is pretty poor in this one. I'm kind of tired right now. I've been tired of the past couple of days, so... I'm not entirely sure why. I think I've been getting pretty decent sleep. That's the right direction, I think. And I think it's probably in this enemy. There we go. Sorry that that took a good while, it's just that my gameplay is not up to par today, and plus I was focusing more on the story. Alright! Now, to restore the Master Emerald. 
Again, what is the meaning of this? Hey, what happened here? I couldn't stop them. They came, and, and my father. I had no idea how bad this would turn out. Shot. Look, it's the emerald. Wait. Is this a dream? It's more like a nightmare. So yeah, wherever we're going to with Tikal is some place that has the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds. I don't know how obvious the thing is where where we're going, but I'll wait till the finale to reveal the full story on what's going on with Tikal. way to go check out what's happening over there. Emerald. No, it can't be. I guess he didn't get enough the first time. You can't stop me from restoring the Master Emerald. Back from the dead after Sonic killed him. Chaos 6. So, it's pretty much the same fight. That didn't work for some reason. Pretty much the same fight for Sonic, but now part of the arena is destroyed and the little ice things spawn less often. I read somewhere that those are supposed to be satellites or something like that. But I don't see it. I guess there's that tape on the sides, the caution tape, but I don't know why that would freeze him. Unless there's something that I'm missing here. Get back here. I still... I can't tell if Chaos 6 as Knuckles is worse than Chaos 4. I guess I just gotta get better at timing it with the opening of Chaos's mouth. Come on, ah, I hit it, but it went just outside of the invisible wall. There we go. 
We're getting to see a lot more of Chaos 6's attacks this time around, just because it's taking me a lot longer. Come on. There we go. I didn't pick it up for some reason. Knuckles just kept punching it. And that should be it. I'm surprised I did that on my first try. Is that all you got? Should do it. Perfect. All is well now. The Master Emerald and the island have been restored. I'll probably be on this floating island forever. Guarding the Master Emerald again. I may not know the whole story behind this, but perhaps it's better that way. I'm at peace once more. And that's the end of Knuckles' story. Personally, I think that's one, a really great ending to his story, just Knuckles realizing that it's his fate to just sit on the sit on Angel Island forever. And I think that's a really nice monologue that he had at the end, and realizing, no, I don't have all of the answers to this, but that's okay as long as I'm keeping what's important to me safe. But yeah, that's about all I have to say. Once again, I'm saving all of the sappy speeches until the very end of the Let's Play when we finish the final story. So I'll just let you guys listen to the music and watch the credits roll. From evil deterioration, yeah. I will be the one to set your heart free, true. Cleanse yourself with them evil spirits that's in you. Streaking lights, loud sounds and instincts Are the elements that keep me going I am fighting my own mission Nothing's gonna stand in my way, no, no I will be the one to set your heart free, true oh, Cleanse yourself yeah. with them evil spirits that's in you
You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. Hard as nails. It ain't hard to tell. I break them down whether they solid or frail. Unlike the rest, I'm independent since my first breath. First test, feel the right, then the worst left. I have no such things as weak spots. Don't approve of him, but God to trust him. This alliance has a purpose. This partnership is only temporary. I will be the one to set your heart free, true. Cleanse yourself of evil spirits that got in you. Get it on by myself. Adversaries get shelved. 